All right, Shalom, Kohala, Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bahashim Raha Kodash. All right, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders and the Akim. Um, you know, uh, you know, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha. All right, so um, as you can see on the screen, it's a quick video that I wanted to get into and bring out some precepts. Um, this is the time that we're living in. All right, even though things is taking place on this planet earth and it's not really well it is taking hold upon america things is taking place you see these uh pestilences all right in these uh different places pursuant to the scriptures um now it says uh more than a dozen killed by outbreak of rare knife knife uh knife napa virus in india all right so this is the these are the things that the lord was telling us should come to pass now, you got a lot of, of our people that don't believe in the Heavenly Father, but uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah, and they're, they're doing things, the Heavenly Father is doing things upon the, on the, upon the earth, uh, pursuing to what he said he's going to do. All right, this is my favorite scripture to bring out. Bear with me for a second. Uh, let me see. Give me a second, Shalaki. All right, this is our second Ezra, uh, 15th chapter. Start around the fifth verse. All right, so, and it says, uh, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, so the Lord is bringing plagues upon the world. And part of the plagues that the Lord is bringing of the sword, famine, death, and destruction is uh, pestilence. And the Napa virus has is, is killed dozens of people, more than a dozen. And this is as of uh, Monday the 28th, 2018. So these different diseases are taking place. At least 13 people have died in India after an outbreak of a rare disease. The health officials warn could cause a global epidemic. All right, so this is the Napa virus. All right, it says emergency measures have been opposed across the southwestern state of Kerala following the emergence of the Napa virus, which caused flu-like symptoms leading to an agonizing brain swelling condition known as encep encephalitis encephalitis those affected by the disease which had a mortality rate of 70 percent and has no vaccine can also be sent into a coma all right so this this has a more this uh, this virus has a mortality rate of 70 percent all right and it says health experts have been flown over to help contain the virus which is listed alongside ebola and zika as one of eight priority diseases the WHO or World Health Organization believes could cause a global ep epidemic. Now, see, you see these people with masks on. Which these are Elamites. Elam is going through it. Napa has killed 260 people in Malaysia, Bangladesh, and India since 1998, and has previously spread to Singapore. Pigs were the hosts on that occasion, but this time. It has been spread by fruit bats, with a number of the winged animals found dead in a well at the home of a family which has lost four people to the disease. All right, so this thing is spreading, and bats, or previously was a swan or pig, was a, a, a host, and now you have the fruit bat. All right, and we ain't going to get into this article too much. But as you can see, you see the uh, Malaysian pigs. This is how it was spread in these pigs, this disease called the Napa virus. All right. So, you know, hey, the Lord is doing what he said he's going to do. We know that there's going to be pestilence. All right. In, in, uh, in these last days, we see it. All right. So let me get to the next scripture. Uh, let me see. 
I don't like to use this one. But you know how I could, yeah, see. Uh, citation search. Loop. Give me a second. Pestilence is all in the scriptures. So these these things that's taking place, the scriptures, the Heavenly Father is really going to do what he said he's going to do. He's a man that he cannot lie. He's a man that he cannot lie. So he told Yahweh Shah these things too. This is Luke 21, verse 10. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences. All right, so this is in a place, this uh, was taking place over there in uh, in India, the, not with the Napa virus, that's a diverse place. So then India, Malaysia, all right, parts of Indonesia, Singapore are having similar cases of different pestilence popping up. And killing people, so we're we're in the time of the scriptures right now, you know. They say, all of these things are taking place at the same same moment. All right, and you know pestilence. When you look in the scriptures, the pestilence came upon Israel. All right, when the Lord took us out of power. All right, the Lord brought pestilences upon our our us as a nation of people now. That's one thing that, you know, <laughs> can take down a nation is, is pestilence, is disease warfare. Anyway, the disease warfare is a, a threat to national security, you know. This is uh, the next scripture that I'll go to is uh, the book of Psalm 94. There's more than a dozen killed by outbreak of rare Napa virus in India. Napa outbreak in Kerala health professionals scientists struggle to understand how the virus reached Koza Hodi. And this is a this is another article. See these people, these are Elamites they don't they're in fear you know and pretty soon these will be the faces of the american citizens it says it has now been closed to a week since the dreaded napa virus outbreak hit kohuzakodi in northern kerala the state government would like the rest of the world to believe that its efforts to contain the virus to as small in an area as possible have been successful to a large extent that claim does have that claim does have merit even though one more person died on Saturday afternoon the death was reported from Koza Ha Cody itself and this thing is taking place right now as you know as we speak um it's probably uh, over there in India it's probably uh midday over there in India it says but more attention needs to be given to the question as to how the virus outbreak happened in the part of the world, in this part of the world, this is an issue which baffles health experts. It is unclear how the virus landed up in Koza, uh, Koza Hakodi, uh, which is close to 3,000 kilometers away from uh, Sai Lagara in West Bengal. Where the last such outbreak was reported way back in 2001, Bangladesh, which saw several Napa cases till 2017, is also a huge distance. All right, so as you can see, things are happening. All right, the Lord said there will be pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Yahweh Shah said it. As a matter of fact, let me go to um, hey, the prophets always prophesied of it, too. Let's go to. Uh, Blue letter. Uh, 
right, so this is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 28 and 8. It say, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's part of what's to come. Uh, the pestilence. And that's what the prophets prophesy. So you got all these other Israelite camps with spirit of the end. You know. But this is the scripture that I want to go to real quick. This is uh, Psalm 91. And we'll end it on this scripture. Psalm 91, verse 3. It says, uh, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his fe uh, feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler and that's why you know when we see these video um when we see these things taking place really we know that these things must come to pass we must see these things we, we're gonna have to go through a time of pestilence but we put our trust in yahweh bashim yahushah it says he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler so under the lord's wings shall we trust it says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. And the pestilence is, is going to walk amongst the people in, in, in Babylon over here in America pretty soon. All right. And, and as that pestilence walks in the darkness, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Rahakodash, we believe that we're, we're the Lord's men. All right, we're servants the prophets. We believe that he's going to protect us from that pestilence. It could be the Napa virus. It could come to America. You never know. Ebola's flaring up again over there in uh, Africa, and mainly in the Congo. But th those pestilence, they walk in darkness. And when they walk and, and, and they, they seize upon the people, people are afraid. So the scriptures say, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, all right, it says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So we, at, at Great Millstone, our mentality is uh, we should not be afraid of those things because we know who created them. We know that the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. We know that unto the Lord belongeth the issues of death. So that pestilence... All right, which is seizing upon those people of uh, India. All right, those people are going to be afraid because they're the heathen, the Elamites. They're the, they're the heathen, but we as men of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, we're not going to fear those pestilences. But this video was to show you that there is another pestilence. There's multiple pestilences out there. All right, multiple diseases out there, and it's going to come something that's going to be stronger than all of these. All right, whether it be in the form of all of these coming together or, you know, I mean, but it's all of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right. And uh, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rahak Wadash, our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.